the most spectacular world premiere ever given a motion picture was the opening of Dodge City in the very town on which the film is based, Dodge City, Kansas. From Warner Brothers Studios in Hollywood, over 200 stars, studio executives, and newspaper men, headed by Errol Flynn, boarded the 14-car Santa Fe Dodge City special en route for the premiere celebration. From New York, Chicago, and other key cities, news correspondents were dispatched to Dodge City to cover the premiere. And Dodge City, a town of 10,000 people, was for the day the focal point of the entire Middle West. Starting two days in advance of the premiere, crowds began pouring into the city until an estimated 150,000 were on hand to welcome the stars. And when the Dodge City special pulled in, it was the signal for the start of the most gala holiday the state of Kansas has ever known. Thousands jammed the Dodge City station to greet the stars, and an official welcome was broadcast from coast to coast. The first of five nationwide broadcasts of the festivities. The crowd roars its welcome as Errol Flynn steps to the microphone. Following this, a mile-long parade with thousands lining the streets to get a glimpse of their favorite stars. Heading the parade was the Dodge City Band, followed by the governors of three states, Governor Payne H. Ratner of Kansas, Governor John Miles of New Mexico, and Governor Ralph Carr of Colorado. Close behind, mounted on horseback, was Errol Flynn, dashing star of the picture. Also in the saddle were Ann Sheridan, with Governor Ratner's son in the rumble seat, and Hoot Gibson. Here in an old-time western buckboard are Rosemary and Priscilla Lane. Behind them on horse is Alan Jones. Humphrey Bogart is next in line, followed by Buck Jones, Wayne Morris, Gene Parker, and Gloria Dixon. Following the parade, the stars helped dedicate the new Dodge City Stadium where they participated in a thrilling rodeo, as well as attended a public wedding. Errol Flynn acted as best man, while lovely Ann Sheridan was maid of honor. And in the evening, the main event, the actual world premiere of Warner Brothers' new Technicolor triumph, Dodge City. So great was the demand for tickets that the picture had to be premiered simultaneously in three theaters, with thousands and thousands of cheering spectators awaiting the theater appearance of the stars. And here they come, Errol Flynn, Ann Sheridan, Slapsy Maxie Rosenblum, Wayne Morris, Jane Wyman, Gloria Dixon, Hoot Gibson, Alan Hale, Rosemary Lane, Frank McHugh, and Alan Jones. Yes, indeed, it was a most notable event for Dodge City and an equally notable occasion for all those from Hollywood who made the trip.